From News Channel 8, this is Federal News Tonight. What should the future face of the Navy look like? It's a question being asked by some of the service's highest brass these days. The Navy is launching a full throttle effort to get more diversity in the ranks. Joining me now here in the studio are three officers providing much of the power behind those efforts. Captain Ken Barrett is head of the Navy Diversity Directorate. Lieutenant Stephanie Miller is head of Women's Policy. And Lieutenant Commander Matt Bowman is Deputy of Diversity Outreach for the Navy. And thanks to you all for being with me today. Thank this you. This is great. Captain Barrett, let's start with you. What exactly is the Navy Diversity Directorate and how does it work? Well, basically what we have is uh, inside our Chief of Naval Personnel, kind of our personnel branch, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we have a directorate that's really focused on looking at all aspects of diversity in the Navy, whether it's race, ethnicity, whether it's gender, whether it's generational. You know, uh -huh. We also look at millennials and you know baby boomers and Gen Xers and what they want from their organizations. And why has this become such a priority for the Navy? Well, I, I think one of the big things, we've had our Chief of Naval Operations, uh, Admiral Gary Ruffhead, has been very clear with us and he said that when the nation looks at its Navy, it should see itself reflected back. And furthermore, we want to be able to have an officer corps that's reflective of the enlisted force that we lead. Uh -huh. So from that standpoint, we've been very aggressive to be able to make sure that we do reflect that face of the nation. Is this objective about quotas? And tell us why a diverse service is a better service. Well, we really look at it as a diversity of thought, kind mm -hmm. of all the traits and attributes mm -hmm. that everybody brings to bear. It could be language, it could be regional expertise, mm -hmm. it could be cultural expertise, could be race or ethnicity, it could be gender. Mm -hmm. So really, it's not about quotas or any types of targets like that. We just want to be able to have the most diverse force that we can that really is reflective of America. Lieutenant Miller, let me ask you about uh, women's policy. That's what you're focusing on. And how are you defining diversity? Well, the gender piece is certainly a broad part of the um, diversity program, and uh, we certainly look at uh, women as uh, also like Captain Barrett, the, the, the race ethnicity portion of, um, of mm -hmm. the gender piece, but we also focus on officer women and enlisted women and what are the concerns and issues that they're experiencing, and a large part of that has to do with the work-life balance issue as well, and so how can we address those concerns so they can meet personal and professional goals throughout a career. You talk about the work-life balance, and that's an issue not only in the military, military but in the private sector and in government as well. How important is it for a woman who is considering a military career to be assured that that is something that she can do? Absolutely, it's a great question. Um, we get asked all the time, you know, from young women who want to go into military service, how am I going to be able to balance it all? Can I be a, an, an officer who's in charge of a ship and also mm -hmm. have, you know, a successful family life at home? And uh, what we're trying to do is make sure that we have off and on ramps, mm -hmm. that we have um, programs for extended maternity leave mm -hmm. so that they can build in those personal choices along the way. Uh -huh. Now, Lieutenant Commander Bowman, you are doing one of the most fascinating parts of this. You're actually going out and talking to people and trying to recruit people. Tell us what you're doing. You know, the Navy has one of the most comprehensive strategies in business or in government to reach American citizens. We literally travel from sea to shining sea looking for talent. So one week we're in uh, New York, the next week we'll be mm -hmm. in San Diego, and we reach all different markets. So um, when we say it's comprehensive, we mean that it is from 8 to 80. We look at young elementary school kids so we can get them interested in science, technology, engineering, and math. And we look at those influencers, those elders that people look to when they're making those career decisions. At the end of the day, what we really want is for people to have awareness about the Navy. And as you travel across the country, there are some communities that just don't have that awareness. And so our office uh, does a great job in, in reaching those folks. And talk about, is it difficult to get folks from ethnic and racial minorities interested in, in the Navy and in the military as a whole? Is it, is it difficult? In this environment, it's especially difficult. But what we found out is that once people are aware of the opportunities in the Navy, the, the openness to accept, listen to our message and to consider our opportunities has actually been fantastic. Uh, we've received some awards from organizations like the NAACP and others for our efforts to reach young Americans. So as you said, it's just great work and, and a lot, the team that's involved is very excited about it. Well, good luck to you all in this effort and thank you so much for being here tonight. Captain Ken Barrett, Lieutenant Stephanie Miller, and Lieutenant Commander Matt Bowman, appreciate all of you and thank you for your service.
Thank Thanks, you. Beverly. And there is more ahead here on News Channel 8's Federal News Tonight. Stay with us.